this divine institution. It is divine because it is God who will unite Aaron and Queen. The Bible says that if two or three are gathered in Jesus' name, God will be there in the midst of them. And whoever man binds in Jesus' name shall be bound in heaven. So let us therefore give due reverence to the presence of God as we witness the miraculous union of Aaron and Queen in the bonds of holy matrimony. Let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you this place, O oh God, we build an altar of your presence, O oh Lord, to glorify you and honor you today. Thank you, Lord, that it is you who bind this couple as one, and it is you, the author of their love. And thank you for the good weather and the companionship, O oh God, for the relatives and friends that are here today to witness their union. Lord, I pray that may your name be glorified and be honored and be the center in this ceremony. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The book of Genesis tells us that a man leaves his father and mother and cleaves to his wife and they become one flesh. When a father agrees to give his daughter, he is endorsing this biblical principle. By this agreement, the father willingly forfeits the primary place that he and his wife have had in his daughter's life and give his blessing to the marriage of his daughter and her husband. Can I ask the parents to please stand? The parents? Only you? Here? Okay. So, to the parents, your presence today make this wedding more meaningful. And as the officiating minister called to do solemnize their union, I thank you for being a good parent to this couple. It is unimaginable how this couple would reach this stage of maturity without you. So you have been faithful to your calling as parents of Aaron and Queen. And so now I ask the Lord to give you the blessing you deserve. God bless both of you. Please be seated. Is there any sponsors here? Um, yeah. Please stand. Principal sponsor. Okay. Yeah. To the principal sponsor, in behalf of the couple, we thank you for accepting this responsibility of guiding this couple as the journey in the path of blessed marriage. We always find time to give them the wisest of counsel with the trouble and financially and materially support when the need arrives. Therefore, I ask the Lord to richly bless you and keep you as you take this new challenge in Jesus' name. Please be seated. My dear friends, in the presence of God and before these witnesses, we have come together to unite in marriage. Marriage is a divine institution, and we are taught in the scripture that it is to be honored among all men. Jesus himself honored marriage by performing his first miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. And God has always honored marriage. Please allow me to share with you a passage of scripture before we proceed. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, verse 21, 22, 24, and the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 25, the Bible tells us that the Lord said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slipped and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof and the rib which the Lord had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and this shall be one flesh who find a wife find a good thing and obtain favor of the Lord wives Submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be their own husband in everything. Husband, love your wife even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water 
by the word. You know what? 